Hey everyone, what's up? And in today's video, once again, it's going to be a little different, but I just wanted to share a really quick financial hack and um, financial tip, which I think is really important for you to understand, no matter really how old you are. Um, this is how you need to manage your money. This is how the top 5% of people manage their money. This is how you should manage your money as well. Um, if you're looking for different resources that I use to learn about this myself, I'm going to link them down below so you can look, check those out. But I'm not going to waste a lot of time and I'm just going to really dive right into this. So whether you have a business or not, and ideally if you want to be in the top 5% of people in the world, you want to own your own business, you want multiple streams of income, right? So. For this example, we're gonna say you do have your own business, okay? Now, what the majority of people will do, and let me go down here a little bit before we go check that out, but what a majority of people will do if they don't have their own business, or maybe even if they do have their own business, um, what's gonna happen is their income, whatever their income streams are coming from, right? even if they do have multiple income streams, right? Wherever their income is coming from, most of the time, they're gonna set this all up wrong. Their income, they're gonna put it, to be plain and simple, they're just gonna put it in, in, their, personal, in their personal bank account. And where this goes wrong, even if you don't have your own business, but when you do, we're gonna use the example of someone that has their own business. They're going to dump it in their personal bank account and then from there you know they'll go they'll spend on it right um or maybe set some aside for taxes if that they'll say oh no it's fine i'll wait i'll just have a little bit aside then maybe put some in savings um what else they'll just leave it though mainly in this account even if they have another account they'll go put it in that account but they'll kind of kind of just leave it and whether they're tracking or not slowly but surely this this is going away they don't realize it so that is really what happens when you're not you're not tracking what you're doing, right? This is what most people do. It just goes into their personal bank account and goes out in little little bunches. They don't really track it. They don't do whatever, which is bad, okay? Especially if you're in business. Now, if you're in business, this is the this is the setup you want to have right here. This is the workflow you want to have for your money. You want your money to work for you, not like this. So this is what you want things to look like. So first of all, you want to open a business account, some kind of business bank account registered on an LLC, DBA, so proprietorship, S Corp, C Corp, whatever it is, do that. What this is going to enable you to do is you're going to, your income is going to be taking advantage of a ton of different tax benefits. If you just put it under your personal account right here, you're not going to be able to take advantage of a ton of different tax benefits for being an LLC, being an S Corp, C Corp, sole proprietor, whatever it is, right? you're gonna get a ton of pretty sweet tax benefits from this. So when that happens, when everything's going into your business bank account here, you wanna have it automatically right wherever it's coming from, right? So for example, for me, I get all my income from Stripe for the most part. It doesn't matter, but wherever anything is coming in from, the first place it should automatically go is your business bank account. And then automatically, right off the bat, the first two places it needs to go, or first three places it needs to go, we're starting with two of them, into your tax account, into your business expenses account. That's the first place all your money should go, right? And uh, and then paying yourself. But these are the, the first three things that happen are kind of combined. You're paying yourself, they're going into your tax account, they're going into your business expenses. Paying yourself is a very important factor. And I'd say almost all three of these are equal because if you just focus on oh, tax account business expense, tax account business expense, you're gonna you're gonna get in trouble when you're wanting to pay yourself. Pay yourself. If anything, pay yourself first. Leave it in this uh, account, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then go here. But ideally, automatically, this will all happen in one sweep, right? So, you got your business bank account. Some will go into your taxes, and I obviously it should be more than expected. You should put in honestly more in this account than. Um, that needed so when you do pay taxes you're going to have a ton left over which is an awesome feeling then business expenses which will ideally 
can end up happening is from this business expense, it's gonna loop right back around into your business account. On top of that, it's gonna loop right back around into your online business, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So once that happens, you should go into the rest of that money should go into your investment account, which is your primary account where, where a lot of different stuff happens. Now with this investment account, you want it to have some kind of an interest on it. Okay. I really recommend you get Ally Bank, Wealthfront, um, anything of that. Those two are probably my favorite. I use Wealthfront now. I just use Ally, but get Wealthfront. Get 2.57 APY on that. You're going to put everything in here. And then from there, it will split up multiple times. So we'll start down here. From your investment account, Another automatic deduction should happen when money hits that account. It should go into your entertainment. So this should be maybe your primary spending card, right? That'll go into your checking account, your personal checking account. Then you'll have some go into retirement savings. Some of it will stay here too. Some of it will go to retirement savings if you have a Roth IRA or whatever it is. Some to your home and living expenses over there. Then real estate and then back to your online business for your business, which is an online business to make it specific to what I'm doing. So your online business, which will go back around to you making your income. All right. So that, that ideally is, is, is what it should look like right here. Um, right here. So this is what that should look like. Now your investment account could reside around a multitude of these, but I have my business bank account, which will separate some things. But also go into my investment account, which will then separate some things into my investments and my expenses. And it's as simple as that. This is how you want to manage your money. You got to track all of this. And there's actually another level even deeper than this because what's going to end up happening is from this real estate, let's just put a, another circle here Let's put a big one right here just call it income and net worth right this this circle and ideally what's going to end up happening real estate funnels into there your online business funnels into there your retirement savings funnels into there Okay, and, every, and everything will loop back around once again, right? Entertainment, I'd say, home and living expenses are the only places where your money's going out in a sense and, and you're losing it, right? It, it doesn't go anywhere, it just hits kind of a brick wall and it doesn't go anywhere, right? But your retirement savings, it's gonna increase your income and net worth. Your real estate, it's gonna increase your income and net worth, it's gonna loop back around. To benefit your business ideally your your main primary source of income a lot of arrows going on around here but that ideally is how it's going to work that that's how you want to manage your money so i just thought that this would be a really valuable video to put up because i've been reading about it learning about it and actually implementing it myself and i've seen it work really really well you know you have your primary business bank account automatically have the tax business expenses and so on and so forth so this is a really quick breakdown. I think this will help you guys out a lot. Um, like I said, yeah, it's a little short, but if you implement this, you're gonna get massive results and big dividends. On top of that, now that I'm just forgetting about this, in your investment account as well, you know, you should have some kinds of stocks, right? That could be retirement savings. But anyway, stocks, there's, there's a ton of different investment opportunities. So hope this helps. I mean, if you guys liked this video, I know it was really short, but I wanted to get something out and show you guys, give you some value for something that I've been implementing. Talk to you guys soon.